Good evening, and welcome to the old, old movie. Tonight we're proud to present a classic story about a young, innocent girl who tries to bring happiness to a man with a terrible secret to hide. It opens on a foggy day in London town. Daphne, are you almost ready? Yes, you look. Well, do hurry. Max de Wintry will soon be arriving from a stately home, Ron Delay. Oh, Max, he's the most desirable, as well as the most mysterious man in all England. Oh, I've worked to put this match together. I want you to look your very best. Oh, I will, Aunt Celia. I spent four hours in a beauty parlor. It's a completely new me. You'll never recognize me. <laughs> ta, -ta! <laughs> Oh, Daphne. <laughs> you recognize me. <laughs> Daphne, pull yourself together. Don't you want to be mistress of Rondelay? Anybody's mistress. <laughs> That's not what I meant. Oh, it's him. Do you think he'll like me? Well, don't keep him waiting. Answer the door. I'm so frightened. <laughs> don't be so childish. No, 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 no. Gracefully. <laughs> Oh, Max, it's so good of you to come. Thank you. I'd like you to meet my niece, Daphne. Charmed. <laughs> I'm sure the fair possessor of such a lovely hand is equally as lovely. Be sure of anything this day. Well, I'll just leave you two people alone to get acquainted while I go in the other room and spy. Oh. Auntie, I've never been alone with a man before. I mean, how do I act? What do I do? What do I say? What, whatever you say, don't mention his terrible secret. Terrible secret? Uh, just talk to him like you would one of your girlfriends. One of my girlfriends. Thank you, Auntie. a week do you shave your legs? <laughs> Question. <coughs> Three times, actually. <laughs> Certainly no concern of yours. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to upset you. Why don't we have a nice little chit-chat? Very well. What would you like to talk about? Oh, anything. What's your terrible secret? Auntie! <laughs> <laughs> Auntie! Ah! Andy, what did I do wrong? Uh, foolish girl, you're too direct. Uh, Max is a man of mystery. Mystery? You must try to be a woman of mystery. Thank you, Auntie. Be a woman of mystery. Woman of mystery, yes. It's mysterious. Would you like some? <laughs> Would you care for some tea? All right. <laughs> Aren't we hitting it off well? Perhaps you'd like a little to know a little bit about me. Not really. Well, I'm not what you'd call a selfish person. In fact, I'm only happy when I can give to others. You must be thrilled. You've just given me a third-degree burn. Hot! Hot, hot, hot! Hot, hot! Hot, hot! hot, hot. Oh. You clumsy fool!
cry. Here, I use my handkerchief. Thank you. Keep it. Do I find strangely appealing? <laughs> Take off your glasses. <laughs> yes, yes, you have a certain marvelous childlike quality. <laughs> Why do you say that? <laughs> Daphne, will you marry me? Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> Come, my child, we can marry today and off to Rondelay. Why, Baba? <laughs> <laughs> 